Hey guys, it's Izzy and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my very own rainbow loom bracelet design called the Ocean Twirl. Before I start, I just wanted to say a few things. This YouTube has been very inactive because we just haven't really used it. On Instagram, on my account which was Paradise Luma. I've now changed the username to Cherry Lumas and I'm sharing it with my friend Athena. She was on another video, the Loom Band Challenge. She's thinking right now of joining the YouTube or not. Other people who were involved never posted. I don't think they wanted to do it really, but oh well. Tina did a few, but she doesn't loom anymore so i don't know if she'll want to do any again so just to say so you will either need two forks attached together like this or a monster tail mine is fake but oh well it was one pound pretty good deal uh, if you're making it with a monster tail i recommend that you use a hook I don't usually use a hook when I'm doing it with forks, I just do it with my fingers, even though it can hurt, but... So if you're using a monster tail, it's a lot easier to use a hook. So I'm using my plastic hook. And obviously, you're going to be needing some loom bands. These are the colours that I'll be using today. So I have a yellow banana scented, a red cherry scented colour, and see-through. So let's get started. So the first step is you're going to take two colours, well this is what I'm doing anyway, so my two main colours are yellow and red. So I am going to put my red band crisscross from there to there. Oh sorry, and you have to twist it like that. And now you get your other colour, so mine is the yellow, and you're going to twist it from the opposite pins like this. So the same thing but another colour and the other way, so like that. Now you're going to get your other colour, so mine is just see-through, and you're going to put it, put this on but you're just going to put it on normally just to square around all these four pins so like this now um, you don't have to add any more bands before the next easy step you just have to hook all the bottom row over um, if I had to rate this um, on like difficulty level I'd probably say an easy because the steps are really simple it turns out really good when it's done but it's a lot simpler than it looks it doesn't look too complicated but it looks simpler than it looks <laughs> so yeah so now it looks like this on the top and this on the bottom so oh that's pretty much the same really but oh well um so now after you've done your see-through, you're going to add your next coloured band. So I'm just going to keep doing the same colours. So I'm going to do my red from here to there. But you don't need to twist it these times because you've already twisted it at the bottom. That's just to keep all the bands in place because then they will all fall apart and you don't want that happening. So then... You pull the bottom rows over again on every pin as normal. And then just push it down to make more room for the next bands. So now it will start looking like this on the bottom and just that, that on the top. Um, the middle band mine is see-through. Will pinch the middles together, which I like that effect. Um, I don't know how it happens because the, these are so loose, but I guess the coloured ones that I've got here just push it down. So now just pull, 
So I've added this. Oops, dropped my hook. Um, so now I've added these see-through, the see-through band as a square as normal on the top. And now I shall pull the bottom row over. So, yeah, now you're going to keep following those steps. If you are not confident with what I've just shown you, um, don't worry, just go back to whichever part you were stuck on in the video and then yeah and then you can find out what your problem is so yeah so guys these are pretty easy steps so I'm just going to pause the video finish the bracelet and then I'll come back and show you the fr the finished product when I'm done so enjoy making this I'll be back in a minute so guys, I'm now done. So this is how it turns out. It looks really nice, I think. If you use a fork, it has a tighter effect on these bands, the colored bands by here. But I used a monster tail, so the um, finished bracelet was kind of different. So now what you're going to do is you're gonna get your hook, or you can, if you don't have one, you can use like a pen, or anything you can find really so you're going to go in and get all of the bands from your last band or bands it doesn't matter what you end on either the single color or the double it doesn't matter as long as you have like four at the end or you or if you've already gone and done a slip knot that's fine as well um so yeah now once you've got all those, you just pull it out of the fork or monster tail. And now you're going to grab one band, any colour, I'm going to, or you can use two in case one breaks then it will still stay. So I'm going to use two to match my bracelet. So I'm going to use my red and my yellow. Then just put them there. Then you're going to get your hook and you're going to put these two on the end of your hook then pull these bands over it this can be hard i prefer to pull them over so a lot of people push um i'm not sure how i just find it hard <laughs> but um yeah everyone is different so you can either now pull these two over to make a slip knot and guys I forgot to mention you need a clip for this as well or you can just leave these um, I'm going to do a slip knot for mine because then it will take up less space in my S clip and then you just if you do a slip knot just pull that tight now so it looks like that then you can safely take this off now nothing's gonna break unless if you have a slip knot that is now just get a S or C or O clip or you know anything any type of clip you like really um, I'm using an S clip I just find them easier to use so sorry guys <laughs> um, here is my S clip just by here and now I'm just going to on the first one I'm only going to take the red bands not the yellow because then it will fill up too much I'm going to put my fingers through them then attach it to one side of my S clip then get the other side and then attach the other two <laughs> sorry um, oh, come on stupid fingers so yeah so this is how it looks when it's finished so I really like this design it's nice and simple it just looks pretty the first one I made it was blue and I think green or something no blue and see-through or something like that and black 
I really liked it like that, but I lost the example, so sorry I couldn't show you at the start. But yeah, <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this video, guys. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, when you rate, you'll like it. Sorry the lighting was bad, I forgot to mention, but can't be helped. So, love you guys, bye!